Welcome po sa ating pag-aaral sa Book of Acts at maraming salamat po sa Panginoon sa kanyang sagot sa ating mga dasal na tayo ay magkapag-aaral sa libro na ito. How we will study? Paano natin pag-aaralan ang Book of Acts? Unang-una, rightly divided. Tamang pag-aayos nito, tamang pagbabahabahagi. Bakit sabi niya sa sabi ng salita ng Diyos in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 study to show thyself a proven to God a workman needed not to be ashamed rightly divided the word of truth hindi tayo mahiya at para hindi tayo mahiya sa makikinig ng aral na ito bakit kailangang i-rightly divided ang pag-aaral sa Biblia or ang Biblia mismo Bak- so in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 3 for time will come that Time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, they shall heap themselves teachers with itching ear. Pagdating daw ng panahon, wala na magikinig sa maayos na aral, pero gusto na nila yung gusto na nilang marinig at hindi na sila nakikinig sa tamang pag-aaral o tamang doktrina ng salita ng Biblia. Or, and they shall turn away with their ears from the truth at ipapaling nila o papakinggan nila ang lay at ang mga bagay-bagay sa Biblia ay gagawin na lang nilang parang kwento or parang mystic or parang magical. Sabi niya rin sa 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1, Now, ang banal na Espiritu, sabi niya, Now the Spirit explicitly that the latter times, ano ba yung latter times, sa katapos-tapos na panahon, some will depart from faith, giving heed to seducing Spirit. Sabi niya, sa pagdating ng panahon daw ay iiwan o hiwalay na ang iba sa tamang pananam palataya. Kung hindi, doon na sila pupunta sa mga mapanlin lang o mga espiritu na si Jusing, what is uh, si Jusing, ng liling lang o ng aakit o tinatawag na mga doktrina o uh, pagtuturo o pag-aaral ng demonyo. Papaano? Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Nag-speak sila o nagsasalita sila o nagtuturo sila ng daya sa humagitan ng pagtatago ng kanilang mga maling gawa. Having their conscience shared with hot iron. Ang kanilang mga konsensya ay napapaloob or mainit. Mainit ang kanilang mga konsensya, ang kanilang mga buto. Anong sinasabi nila? Tinatago pa. Continuing, meron ding mga pananampalataya na uh, forbearing to marry, hindi na pag-asawa or commanding na umalis or lumayo or wag kumain ng mga uh, mga karne or there some parts of karne na dinodoktrinal doktrina or dogmatic na hindi sila pwedeng kumain. Sabi nga ng Diyos, they are created to be received with thanksgiving and believe in God. Okay. Sabi nga niya sa 1 John chapter 4, Believe not in every spirit. So, 1901, marami pong naglipanang, pananampalataya na sinasabi nila they are gifted or they have some kind of power or miracles but it is not uh, timely na because it's already finished, already done. Hold the Bible and the prophecy. Sabi niya, believe not in the spirit but try the spirit they are their God. Because many false prophet has gone out into the world. Dada, lalabas daw ang maraming mga bulaan propeta, bulaan guru, bura, bulaan pastor na magtuturo pagdating ng panahon. So we must always first remember that Book of Acts is a transitional book. Meron pong pagbabago from time to time ng Book of Acts ay meron pong pagbabago. O meron pong mga doctrines na nagtuturo in the first uh, chapter up to 7 chapter or up to 10th uh, chapter of book of Acts, then they are just stuck in what the mystery of God according to Apostle Paul, especially to the Gentiles. Kaya na, dapat po natin siyang uh, tuunan ng pansin. They are, uh, sa book of Acts in chapter 1 to 10, ay marami pa mong sumunod. It is 28 chapters, so meron pa siyang 18 chapters that this called transitional period na sa ating pag-aaral sa book na ito ay ating malalaman 
sa biyay ng Panginoon sa pumagitan ng banal na Espiritu papaliwanag sa atin ng Diyos kung ano ang nangyari. So, Book of Acts is a book of history. Po itong book na ito kung paano po nagsimula at paano po na dumating sa atin ngayon sa pumagitan ng rightly divided ang tamang pananampalataya especially in book of Paul. So, I will, I will repeat again this lessons or this this uh, Bible study or ang ating pag-aaral na ito ay hindi po ito magaganap <laughs> hindi po natin maintindihan maayos if we will not read also in ourselves the book of Acts as we continue later on that we will have a verse by verse by or by word by word per word Bible study <coughs> Number one The author of the book of Acts Sabi niya is Luke Si Lucas po ang author ng book of Acts The beloved physician Sino po ito si Luke? Isa po siyang doktor Isa po siyang, isa po siyang physician At always po silang magkasama ni Apostle Paul Because they are in the same right of labor They are very educated people So educated po si Luke Educated din si Apostle Paul And palagi po silang nagsasama So, mababasa natin dyan sa Colossians chapter 4, verse 14. Ito lang din siya ang Gentile na writer in the New Testament. So, tatlong basis siya na mentions in Colossians chapter 4, verse 14, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 11, and Philipp Philippians chapter, uh, Philipp Philemon, uh, verse 24. As we spoke earlier in Luke, it seems quite apparent of that Paul had a strong influence that had Luke wrote the Gospel of Acts and Luke. So, marami siyang influence or very strong influence po itong si Luke, ang, ang writer na ito, at palagi silang kasakasama ni Apostle Paul. Acts, the sequel to Luke. What is sequel? Acts is the continuous or the query of Book of Luke. Luke was a Greek Gentile But meron pong mga pag-aaral O meron pong mga scholar na sabi sila It is part of uh, Isa pa rin siyang Jewish But there is no like uh, uh, Study that to prove that Luke is a Jewish So okay Luke was a Greek Gentile Or tawag niya sa Luke name Is Lucius in Greek So sabi niya Not of circumcision The circumcision meaning in the Bible is the Greek And the answer to circumcision is the Gentile. So compared to Lucas, uh, Colossians chapter 4 verse 11 and with Colossians chapter 4 verse 14. We must believe that it was brought to faith in Christ by Paul, possibly at Antioch, one of the Christians who returned unto the Lord. Acts chapter 11 verse 19 to 21. After this occurred, Luke began to accompany Paul in parts of his missionary trip. As a physician, he likely took care of Paul as he faced many physical ailments. So, palagi siya nagsasama ni Paul dahil si Apostle Paul ay marami po siyang nararamdaman. Okay, so we can see when Luke was with Paul and it was, wasn't because he was writing the ship, From first person to third person Sabi nga niya So we can see when Luke was with Paul So magikita natin palagi na kung kasakasama ni Luke uh, ni, ni Luke Si Apostle Paul Ay nagsumusulat siya as a first person Or third person So magikita natin in Acts chapter 16 Verse 1 to 9 Sinasabi niya day And Acts, Acts chapter 16 Verse 10 to 17 uh, Sabi niya we or us And all other also we in the section Acts chapter 20 verse 5, 21 to 18 And Acts chapter 1, 28 Or uh, Acts chapter 27, 1 to 28 at 28, 16 Early church fathers Sino ito mga early church fathers? Mga kilala, mga bishops, mga elders at mga pastors Nang uh, mga churches na na-spread or, or na-pound ng ating mga uh, ng ating kapatid or ng ating apostol na si Apostle Paul like uh, Clement, si Clement of Rome Ignatius 
Si Ignacio si Policarp, Iranios, Clement of Alexandria, Tertullian, Epolitos, Origen, Eusebius, universally agreed that Luke wrote his book. Ito po yung mga tao, isa po itong, uh, ito po mga early fathers or church father na ito ay isa po sila nag-canonize or nag-compile ng ating uh, Biblia or naging 66 books. Status. Cha Acts, the book of Acts has a 28 chapter. Sabi nga natin dito, from Acts chapter 1 verse 12, we started with the Jew and 13 up to 28, it's proceed to the Gentile. Verses is 1,006 verses. Timeline, just over 30 years covering the reign of Roman Emperor Tiberius, Cali Caligula, Claudius, and Nero. It's it 30 years po. Ito pong Acts na ito, in the 20th verse, hindi po ito one year lang naganap. It is by timeline is 1 to 30 years. So, simula nang namatay si Christ, simula nang missionary uh, namatay si Christ, up to 30 years also ang, uh, ang tawag dito. Ang pag-missionary ni Apostle Paul is 30 years also. This is all covered in the book of Acts. But hindi, pa, hindi nasulat dito kung paano, paano namatay si Apostle Paul or other na mga Apostle. So, date it is written is from 62 AD to 32 AD. So, 30 years after the death of Jesus Christ. Acts was the second of the two books of Book of Luke, kaya sabi nga niya in Acts chapter 1 verse 1, the second treatise. That Luke wrote the first being Gospel of Luke. Ang una niyang sinulat ay ang Gospel of Luke at ang pangalawan is a book of Acts. It is believed that Luke may be gathered much more material for Acts during Paul's imprisonment in Caesarea. So, nakakuha si Luke ng materials, ng information noong pagka kulong ni Apostle Paul sa Caesarea. Caesarea is a part of uh, northern part of Israel or, or Judea. In, uh, uh, um, so applicable or, or the year 58 to 59 AD. He apparently had information from written sources. Example in Luke chapter 15 verse 23 and 59. Luke chapter 23 verse 26 and 30. Access to the record of the church in Caesarea, as well as many oral sources that had been in the area at some time, from this likely who had been. So, hindi lang nakakuha siya ng information sa mga book na yon, bagos nakakuha din siya ng mga verbal or, or mga uh, tinatao dito ng the subject of uh, subject ng mga witnesses, actual witnesses sa panahon na yon sa Caesarea. So, let us uh, read uh, bo, uh, Book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 23 up to 29. Luke, chapter 15, verse 23 up to 29. Sabi niya dito, And bring hither cold calf and kill and let us eat and be merry. For this is for this the, my son was dead and alive and again and was lost and it found and they began to be merry 25 and now the elder son was in the field and it came drew nigh into the house and mus heard the music and called the servant and asked thing and this thing meant and they said unto him thy brother is come and uh, father hath killed and father the fatted calf and have received and saved and son and he was angry and he will not go therefore come out and treated him and answering and he answered to his father lo many years i have served thee neither than grace at any time commandment and now the grievous me the kid that i have make merry of my friends so sabi niya dito nagsilo siya he have the information or written sources so marami po ang mga nagsource sa ito po ay ito po yung tinatawag na prodigal uh, son it is uh, it is tinatulog po itong prodigal son sa uh, um, nagbalik na anak it especially also it is categorized by the Gentiles na may nagzilos 
Okay, so apostles, the apostles themselves have shared accounts to the assertion and preaching the founding of church in the days of Pentecost as Acts of Peter, a martyrdom, a martyrdom of Stephen and James, and etc. Locke also spent time with Mark. So nakasama din ni Locke, ito si Mark, si John Mark. Ito po ay isang uh, kasama po nila sa missionary journey, yung sumulat po ng gospel na book of Mark. Si Mark po ay uh, sa ibang pag-aaral, isa po siyang uh, kasama din po ni Apostle Peter. Okay. Philip had gone to Caesarea, Acts chapter 20. Uh, who, had, who had a home in Caesarea in Acts chapter 28 verse 1 and his daughter could share the events in Acts 8. So, pinakita dito na nakakuha ng verbal na mga witnesses or verbal na information si Locke ina Pedro sa mga tao sa palibot kina, uh, kina Pilip so isa din kay Cornelius nakakuha din siya Cornelius was the first in time to convert and also had a home in Caesarea in Acts chapter 10 verse 1 who have been able to share information also as we spoke above and our survey Paul, uh, Apostle Paul apparently had a great influence on the book of Locke or Locke Road. So, maraming influence si Apostle Paul. So, he could have provided with information of the rest of Acts. Of course, Locke would have been eyewitness to many of these events as well as he traveled with Paul. So, maraming din pong witnesses, maraming uh, uh, eyewitness or na, na encounter ni na experience especially sa, sa pagsama ni Apostle Paul at Milo because uh, because there is no mention of the destruction of the temple hindi na discuss dito or nilasabi dito na uh, giniba ang templo no in 70 AD the persecution of Emperor Nero in 64 AD or the martyrdom of Peter in Peter or Paul in 63 to 67 AD. It most certainly was written before these events. So, hindi na discuss dito ang pagiba sa templo, temple of uh, Solomon, the battle of Itsaida, uh, kay uh, Nero, kay Governor Titus, at pagpatay kay Apostle Paul at Peter in these dates kasi nagawa siya or nasulat siya before pa nangyari ang mga events na ito. It, it has absorbed the ending with being under the house arrest of Rome. So, nagtapos siya doon lang sa house arrest, uh, house arrest uh, in, in uh, chapter 28 uh, or sa pagkakulong ni Apostle Paul sa Romans uh, sa Rome in after uh, awaiting to trial before Caesar's. This occurred in 62 AD So saan siya naisulat? It is likely Rome So naisulat siya sa Roma ay Other scholar or uh, Habang nandoon si Paul House Arisha ay doon denated Or pinag-usapan nila ni Apostle Paul Na maisulat Ang book of uh, Acts na ito okay. Saan siya or para kanino naka-address or para kanino isinulat itong book of Acts so it is written to Theophilus Theophilus so in Greek Theo is God and Philos is a friend or loving it's a two word composes of two word is Theophilus other scholars said to the friend of God or Sinasabi nilang lovers of God. So, isinulat daw itong libro na ito. Ganun din naman ang Book of Law ay sinulat din sa Theophilos. So, meaning, this, the lovers of God or or the, the, the friend of God. So, isinulat po ito. So, it is also called that Theophilos is a Greek Gentile. That means uh, God beloved or, or sabi niya was a friend of Law or likely a Roman official or someone influence. Wala pong target or sino si Theophilos but we have the, the meaning in Greek and also there is some kind of study that he is a friend of law or a Roman official process.
Sino lang siya kanino para kay Diopilos. Okay, praises. Mga praises po dito na ginamit. Sabi niya dito, The growth of the church by the power of the Holy Spirit is mentioned 52 times. So, ang pagtubo daw, ang paglawak, or ang paglaki ng churches sa pamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu ay na-mention or na-isabi 52 times in the work of Acts. So, key verses. So, basahin natin. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 But you shall receive the power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall witness on both on Judea uh, or both in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria and at their most part of the earth. Acts chapter 2 verse 4 And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them Utterance. Ito po yung mga key verses. Papaliwanag po natin yan. What is tongues and what is other tongues? What is anong tongues? Later on, pag tayo ay nasa verse, uh, verse by verse na na-continuation ng ating pag-aaral na ito. After, after chapter 2 verse 42, and they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship. In the apostles' doctrine. So, na-continue daw sila sa... Uh, teaching ng apostles but now there is no apostles manalaman natin yan uh, later on so in, in unbreaking on the bread and in chapter 2 verse 43 and fear come upon every soul and many wonders and signs done by the apostles marami daw sign and wonders done by the apostles up chapter 2 verse 44 and all that believed were together and had all things in common dito po ang lahat ng mga especially Jew ay ay uh, nag nagtipon sila doon na lang sila nakatira nagtipon sila sa isang lugar at lahat ng kanilang mga pag-aari ay kanilang ibinta at, at nag-isa or pinag-isa nila ang kanilang mga pera nilikom nila para sa pagpapalawak ng gospel 45 and resolve their position ito na po yung ating sinasabi 46 continuing daily in one accord in the temple so palagi po sila sama-sama araw-araw now we are only sama-sama pag may mga events tayo and especially in uh, Sunday or dito sa Middle East ay uh, in Friday or in our uh, day off okay 47 praising God and having favor with all people and the Lord added to the church daily so they are praising God but the, 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 there is not too much uh, uh na nakadates dito kung anong classing instruments or praise ang kanilang ginag ginagamit kaya we will also consider this one later on sa ating pag-aaral in verse by verse Acts 4.12 neither there is any salvation for there is any other name in the heaven among uh, given among men so napaka importante po nito the name of Jesus Christ the name of the Messiah So, especially in the Jew, if they believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah or His name is the Messiah, then they have already their salvation and the millennial period shall come. But sa atin po mga Gentiles, now we must believe on the Messiah or si Kristo, hindi lang doon sa kanyang pangalan kung hindi doon sa kanyang nagawa sa cross which is the Gospel. Sabi niya that Peter and said to them, for uh, 19 ito, said unto them, Whether be right to the sight of God, her can you that more than ye judge. Sabi niya, with the right in the sight of God, her can to you more than ye judge. Okay. 20. For we are not We cannot speak the things which have seen and heard. 5.3 Peter said, Anani, Ananias had Satan. So, ito po yung uh, si Ananias at si Safira ay niligaw nila o hindi sila nag-remit ng maayos sa kanilang kita sa pan kaya sila namatay. Okay, sabi niya 5.4 While it remains, it thy own after a soul that thy own power the house comes things thine heart and thou was light nagsinungaling sila sa Diyos so sa 5 ay namatay si Ananias okay tapos nung narinig siya ni, ng kanyang asawa sa pera 
at uh, sinungaling din siya namatay din siya in Acts chapter 12 Andy Kale James the brother of John with the sword pinatay nila si James na son of CBD ni with the sword so dalawa pa ang namatay dito si Stephen at saka si John Acts chapter 16 verse 30 sabi niya dito and brought them and says what must I do to be saved napaka-importante po nitong verse din na ito sabi niya believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. In the way, early book of Acts, sabi ni Peter sa kanila, baptize, no? Receive and baptize and you have eternal life. Pag rating ng Acts 16, there is a transition at sabi ni Paul, only you have to receive. So, purpose, bakit siya naisulat dito? To present the history, historical accurate account to the beginnings and the growth of early church by carrying out Great Commission and the Spread of the Gospel in Matthew chapter 28, 19, and 20, which is the Great Commission. Uh, the teaching, all nations, baptizing them the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. That's why it's emphasis ang baptize dito because it, eh, ang sinabihan niya ay ang mga apostle. Acts 1, 8, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Darating ang kapangyarihan ng banal na is spiritual. But later on, there is a transition of the power of the Holy Spirit. Sabi niya, Go ahead therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. So, this started the gospel sharing to the Jew, and it ended up to us um, or mga Gentiles. Sabi niya, and you receive the power of the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall be witness both in Jerusalem o una silang nag-spread ng gospel sa Jerusalem sa mga Jew in Judea no? sa buong Israel buong 12 tribes of Israel in Samaria and across bread of Israel and Gentiles is Samaria or Samari Sam Sam Samaritan and unto the uttermost part of the earth at sa atin din uttermost part of the earth hanggang sa dulo ng mundo so last na na is islands so sentinel island na pinatay nila ang missionary na nag-attempt na bagian sa so it is the last islands according to missionary na hindi pa nabagian ng gospel that is uttermost part of the the earth pangalawa to bridge between the Gospels and the Epistles para may pagdugtong mula sa Gospels the four Gospels ano po Matthew Mark Luke and John may dugtong siya hanggang sa episode what is Epistles it is the letter so sino ang ang gumawa ng Epistles so especially Apostle Paul he wrote or he written 14 Epistles. So, sinasabi nila the, the, the book of Hebrews is not written by Apostle Paul but it is written by Apostle Paul for ito before siya nagsimulang mag-journey at mag-written ng Apostle Paul. So, hindi po. And next time ay atin pong pag-aaralan ang book of Hebrews. Atin na po itong napag-aaralan last uh, years in uh, sa ating verse by verse or at divided Bible study but hindi po natin ito na i-record. Number three is to present the defense to present the defense of Christian faith para ma-representa at madipinsan ang tunay na pananampalatayang Christianismo. Number four, to prove that Christianity is kind of subverse, subversive flat. Para ma-prove na ang Kristyanismo ay hindi siya gawa-gawa man la, gawa-gawa lang o isang grupo na bagong sumulpot o isang grupo na gawa-gawa lang na tao. Okay. So, as his previous writing of the Gospel of Luke, Luke places great emphasis on two things. So, kanyang sinulat sa writer na ito na si Book of Luke, meron siyang palaging dalawa na ini-emphasize niya or pinupokus niya. Dalawa mga bagay. Unang-una ay ang tinatawag na panalangin. So, the prayer, the word pray or its form. So, 35 times po siya lumabas sa book of Acts. So, yan po ang mga verses. 114, 24, 242, 31, 431, 64, and 6, 8, 5, 
and so on hanggang sa 28 verse 8. So, atin pong basahin ang mga verses na yan. Uh, Luke had many great experience on prayer. That's why he emphasizes these two things. Meron din dito na emphasize din in, in the book of Luke or si Lucas in the book of Acts ang mga babae. But remember, in book of Timothy, until now, hindi po pinapayagan ang mga babae na mag-leader or especially na mag-sermon or maging uh, mag-teach or mag maging over power sa teaching and management of ng mga lalaki. So, may mga things po tayo dyan. And after the, the word of Acts or, or sa pagdating ng panahon natin ngayon, that's why hindi dapat payagan ang babae na siyang mag-leader or mag-teaching or mag-preaching because they have a different kind of ministry inside the churches. So, sabi nga niya dyan, the women marry Jesus sa upper room. So, it is first time na nasama nila ang mga babae sa upper room. But later on, nung nag-speaking in tongues na sila in Acts chapter 2, there is no other women na kasama. At hindi rin pinapayagan ang women supposedly to speak in tongues because speaking tongues is used for edify malalaman po natin yan in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 okay si Sapira yung namatay si Tabita Dorcas Mary and the mother of Mark Rhoda Lydia and the first convert sa Europe o bandang Ephesians uh, Damarias Acts chapter 15 uh, 17 verse 34 si Priscilla si Priscilla sa kasi Aquila ito po sila nasa Corinthians Philip's daughter, mga anak ni Philip. Plus, women also believe in Acts chapter 5 verse 14, Acts chapter 8 verse 13 and 12, Acts 9 2, Acts chapter 16 verse 1, Acts chapter 17 verse 4 and 12. Or prominent, ito yung mga babae na mga prominenting Greek. Kasi ito sila, itong nasa taas dito, Mary, Sapira, Tabita, they are all Jews. But also, They are women na uh, mga Greek na sila ay nanampalataya na karoon ng kaligtasan. But later on, we will discuss their function. As stated above, there's also great emphasis of the growth of charts. As we can see, no, in Acts chapter 2 verse 41, ito po yung pagtubo ng charts. Parami ng parami. Saan ba? Uh, naubos ang charge it is by 200 AD so sinimulan po ng Romanism ng Universalism yung tinatawag nila Inquisition or tinatawag nilang uh, uh, pagpatay sa mga Kristiyano sa tunay na pananampalataya at pinalitan nila ng maling pananampalataya of course the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the key, the key to salvation and there was heavy emphasis on the book of Acts. So, ang pagkabuhay ng ang muli is very important po in the whole the Bible ang pagkabuhay ng muli because that is our hope that we will believe again pagdating ng panahon because our Savior, He rise from the dead. That is very important emphasis. So, basahin po natin yung mga verses in Acts 1.8 and Acts 1.22 to 4 at hanggang Acts 26.23. Uh, Luke also make numerous references in the Old Testament in verses of Acts. So, maraming references meaning na go si, si Luke doon sa Old Testament. So, he read also the Old Testament Bible. So, Acts chapter 2 verse 17 to 21 which is prophesized na ang, ang, ang mga anak ni Israel ay magkaroon sila ng banal na Espiritu at sila ay manghula. Acts 2 Chapter 24 to 25 this is the prophecy. Uh, Psalms chapter 110 verse 1. Acts 4, 26, compared to the prophecy of Jesus Christ also in Psalms chapter 2 verse 1 to 2. Then Acts chapter 13 verse 41 compared to Habakkuk. We got Habakkuk 1.5. Acts chapter 15 verse 16, 17 compared also to Amos chapter 11 verse 12. Acts chapter 2 verse 25, 28. Compared to Psalms chapter 16 verse 6 to uh, verse 8 to 11, Acts chapter 4 verse 11 compared to Acts 
chapter 118 verse 22 Acts chapter 32 uh, verse 32 to 33 compared to Isaiah chapter 53 Isaiah chapter 53 is the prophecy of Jesus Christ at palagi po nating tinatandaan ito that they are uh, binagbawalan po ito na pababasa sa mga Hudyo or sa mga Israelites hanggang ngayon they don't know why but Kung nabasa nila ito, they will believe that Jesus Christ is their Messiah. Acts chapter 13 verse 47 compared to Isaiah chapter 49 verse 6 and Acts chapter 28 verse 26 compared to Isaiah 6, 9 and 10. So we will not read these verses at uh, basahin nyo po ito, istadihan nyo po ito ang comparing ng mga books na ito. Later on in verse by verse, we will go pag may uh, oras tayong mapaglaanan ay atin po itong tatalakayin ang mga quoted na ito. So, we will only emphasize the most very important things in the studying of the book of Acts. There are also numerous references found in the Stephen's speech in Acts chapter 7. Okay, Acts mainly focusing on ministry or act. Uh, so, ang focus po dito sa libro na ito ay yung acts. Ano ba yung acts or process or two men? Okay, before the book of Acts, it was named called the Gospel of the Holy Ghost and the Gospel of Resurrection. Before daw ito na pangalan ng the book of Acts, pinangalan nitong ang Gospel, ang Good News ng Banal na Espiritu or ang Gospel, ang Good News sa pagkabuhay ng muli. But kinumpal nila, uh, pinalitan nila ng pangalan na process or, or, or praxis or tinatawag na book of Acts. So, so, sa Tagalog, it's called Ang Gawa. Okay. Number one, Peter opened the door to the Jews. So, si Pedro ay nagbukas ng gospel or nagbukas ng ministry to the Jew. In simula ng Acts chapter 9, 1 verse 9. So, nagsisimula, there is transition. In the first book of Acts is mainly for Israel and is mainly in Jerusalem. So, wala pong nahalo dito. So, nagsimulang mayroong nahalong Gentiles is in the Acts chapter 10. In Acts chapter 8 verse 3, they are mainly based on Judea and Samaria. Sa mga Israel at sa mga crossbred ng Israel po ito. So, open the doors to the Gentiles and nagsimula po Acts chapter 10 uh, up to up chapter 12 at papunta na po sa missionary journey so nasimula po dyan sa buhay ni Cornelius na si Peter din ang nag at hanggang ngayon sa atin naman sa pumagitan na banal na espiritu ay sa pumagitan po ng apostle of the Gentile who has started to make grow the churches up to the end of the world or uttermost part of the earth which is our apostle apostle Paul so, in chapter 1 to 12, describe about first to 12 years of Christian charts. Okay, but Peter disappears in Acts chapter 12 because there is a big emphasis, there's a big focus on the Apostle Paul and on the mission ministry, how we should practice the church practices according to the gospel of God, according to the mystery that he gave to Apostle Paul sa atin pong panahon ngayon. Napakalaki po ng part ni Apostle Paul sa pag-spread ng gospel natin. That's why, hindi natin pwedeng maghang ang ating mga practices at ang ating uh, mga doktrina in the book of Acts in the first day because that is only the opening and meron pa pong kasunod nun na continuation ng, ng tamang uh, pagpapractice or tamang teaching, tamang doctrine ng Bible. Paul ministry to the Gentiles in Acts chapter 13 up to 28 starting from 44 to 62 AD. Based mainly in Antioch. So, Antioch. Saan po itong Antioch na yun? Do ito po sa uh, lugar ng Syria. Pero wala na rin po ang charge na original doon kasi sinira na po ng universalism so taking to the gospel up to the ends of the earth 
The Bible shows us that Paul carried the gospel to numerous cities and three different missionary things. He which covers 13,000 miles. Ang pag-spread po ng gospel sa pamagitan po ni Apostle Paul at sa kanyang mga kasama ay umabot po sila sa kanilang journey ng 13,000 miles or equivalent po yan sa lagay natin mga 16,000 kilometers and conversion. Especially emphasis pa rin tayo in his previous writing, the Gospel of Luke places emphasis on two things. Okay. So, first missionary trip ni Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 13 up to 1428. So, nag-una po siyang uh, nag-mission in Galicia, Galicia. So, 46 to 48 AD. Si Lucia to Salamis and Papos to Cyprus to Persia, Pampilya. Then Mark left and returned to Jerusalem. To Antiochs and Pisidia. Ito po yung sa Galicians. Iconium, Lystra Derby. Then bumalik siya sa Lystra, Iconium, Pisidia. Persia and Pampilya. Then uh, Atalia, they were went to Antiochs. The second missionary journey ni, ni Paul ay pumunta siya simula sa Syria, sa Derby, Lystra, at Somali si Timothy sa kanila in Perja Galicia through was then Luke joins them in Samothrace to Nephesus and Philippi and Apollonia Thessalonica Beria uh, Corinth Ephesus and Jerusalem for Passover and go back to Antioch meron pong mga map ito na may mga araw uh, later on sa ating uh, continuous we will uh, use that map by the God's Transmunary Journey is the strip to Anchox and regions of Galicia, Persia, Ephesus, Truas, Macedonia, Greek, and back to Macedonia. Macedonia, which is the Europe now, or Pilip Philippians, or Philippi, to Truas, Samos, Nikos, Rhodes, Patara, Tyre, Polyme, Caesarea, where the prophet Agabus was warned Paul in Jerusalem, but went anyway to Jerusalem. So, in the book, Abba, magkikita po natin dito ang missionary journey ni Paul. First missionary journey, second missionary journey, and third missionary journey. So, excursus on the, on the Pentecost. Ito mga points. What is excursus? The, the, the teaching or the emphasis of the Pentecost. Numerous places of the gospel point to Pentecost. Bakit kailangan or important ang Pentecost? Because dito nagsimula the power of the Holy Spirit unto the Gentile. Pero, tandaan natin na, na, na in this time, the come, the power of the Holy Spirit to the Apostle. That's why they started to baptize with the Holy Spirit. But, but ang Apostle, they are already given the Holy Spirit. Hindi po na. At sa panahon natin ngayon, ay malalaman din natin that when or kailan na time tayo makakatanggap ng banal na Espiritu. Okay. So, sabi niya dito, and until the Pentecost, the New Testament was temporary thing. So, sa Old Testament, meron ng banal na Espiritu, but from time to time, ay umaalis ito, but only they will, they will uh, have their power sa time na kinakailangan. The Holy Spirit come upon the people for limited period of time to help them accomplish the task of God. Kung merong task of God, ay, uh, Saka lang na nandudoon o nagiging duel ang banal na Espiritu sa, sa kanila Which is also, uh, isang example dito ay si uh, Samson so, so Samson, pagputulan siya ng buhok, wala sa kanyang banal na Espiritu But if he do his, uh, uh, ang kanyang panatas, anasarain Ay siya ay magkakaroon ng banal na Espiritu He did not reside the people permanently no? Since the Pentecost, all the believers are now baptized into one body. So, simula ng Pentecost, lahat ng mga mananampalataya ay nabautismohan na sa pumagitan ng banal na Espiritu. Sabi nga niya in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13, For the Spirit, we are all baptized in one body. Whether we are Jew and Gentile, we are banned or free, and we've been all made drink in one Spirit. Okay, so numerous places in the Gospel pointed to Pentecost. Why was Pentecost is important? Okay. 
So let's continue Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 In whom you trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of salvation In whom after you believe you have served the or served with the Holy Spirit of promise so, Sa sulat na ni Apostle Paul, sinabi niya dito is emphasize is not on the day of the Pentecost later on or ano nangyari na sa the day of Pentecost that another or different event pa na magbilib ka muna bago ka mabaptize na banal na espirito but, but later on in transition sabi niya kung nagbilib ka or nagtrust ka sa gospel you have already the Holy Spirit hanggang kailan kang, hanggang kailan ang Holy Spirit sa iyo it is assured sabi niya in Ephesians chapter 1 uh, verse 14 which also earnest our lives until the redemption hanggang sa pagkatapos and the position of His glory ay mawawala uh, until the day of redemption sa ating rapture dun lang tayo mawawala ang banal na spirit, spirit. Sige, this is chapter 2 verse 13 but we are about to give tax always to God, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because of God at the beginning chosen the salvation to the sanctification of the Spirit and believe in truth. Sabi niya dito, God had the beginning chosen the salvation through the sanctification of the Spirit. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 2, who have saved us and given us the earnest Spirit in our hearts. So, don't nagsimula sa Pentecost, but later on, and once that you believe, and you believe, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So Jesus told his disciples in John chapter 16, verse 5 to 7, that it is good that he was going to live, because the Spirit or then uh, Spirit would then come. Sabi niya mas mabuti or mas mainam na ako ay umalis para dumating sa inyo ang banal na Spirit. Why? Bakit? Because Jesus could only physically be in one place at the time but when the Holy Spirit said He would indwell all the believers everywhere bakit daw kailangan kasi nung nandito si, si Jesus Christo physically lang siya kung nandun siya sa Jerusalem nandun lang siya sa Jerusalem kung nandun siya sa Galilee nandun lang siya sa Galilee meron lang meron lang location na, na, na nandudoon si Jesus Christ pero kung kung pupunta na si Jesus Christ sa Ama He will be uh, raptured Sa pumagitan ng banal na Espiritu ay nandudoon na ang lahat ng kapangyarihan or ang lahat ng, ng presence of God sa lahat ng dako and up to, or until the utter, uttermost part of the earth at once. So kaya po sabi niya, mainam. Okay, who was the ones who sent this baptism of the Holy Spirit by far? Sino na yung pinadala? O, sino na yung padala? na magbautismo sa pamamagitan ng banal na Espiritu at sa apoy. So si Hiso Kristo in Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 sabi dito ni John the Baptist, I will baptize you with water and repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, who shoes and authority to bear, and he shall baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. Si Jesus Kristo la ang nagbaptize sa Holy Ghost and in fire. What is the baptism of the Holy the fire? The baptism of the fire is not in the day of Pentecost. It is the day of the second death or the judgment. Sabi nga niya sa tell, who span his hand and he will truly purge his floor and gather the wheat into the garden but he will burn the chap with unquenchable fire. So dalawa ang baptize ni Jesus Christo. Kung mananampalataya ka, ibabautismuan ka niya ng banal na Espiritu. Kung hindi ka mananampalataya, ay babautismuan ka doon sa mainit or sa nagliningas na apoy, which is the imperno. Mark chapter 1 verse 8, I indeed baptize you with water, but He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Sabi ni John, ako mababautismo sa inyo ng sa tumungitan ng tubig, pero si Kristo, siya ay mabautismo sa inyo sa pumagitan na banal na Espiritu. So, din Italy ni Luke chapter uh, 3 verse 16, John answered unto them, I, I indeed baptize you with water, but one rather scummit, the latches of those who show I am not worthy to unloss, he will baptize you with Holy Ghost and with fire. 
So Luke chapter 3 verse 17 whose span is in hand and he will throw ports with his floor and gather his sweat and unquenchable fire. Okay. So So kailan daw na awkward ang pagbaptize ni Kristo. So when he will or, or darating ang banal na espiritu, when he will be glorified in John chapter 37 uh, 7 verse 37 in the last day the great thief the peace is at his sword and Christ saying if the man thirsts let him come to me and drink so itinote niya po yan sa Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3 and uh, 32 verse 15 John chapter uh, 38 he be he that believing on me as the scripture had said out of his belly shall flow the living Water. So, kung nagbabasa pa lang ang Jewish or mga Jew ng kanila mga Bible at kanila itong iniintindi, they will believe that Jesus Christ is their Messiah. But still di not. Sabi nga niya. But this is fake he of the spirits which he believe that which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given when Jesus said because he was not yet glorified. Nung nag-glorify na si Jesus Christ, siya ay nabuhay ng muli doon na siya nagsimulang nagbigay ng banal na Espiritu. Ano daw ang ibig sabihin ng glorified? What is glorified? So in a believer, it of course the death uh, or being in the heaven with the Father for eternity. When it's our salvation is perfected in Jesus case it would have been returned to the Father or we will be tinatawag na glorified. So, kailan daw nagpunta si Jesus Christ sa Ama? Most agree. So, lahat to ng mga scholars or uh, maraming scholars that agree it was after he died because he went to the Hades to preach the captives for three days. So, nung daw pagkatapos niyang namatay, pumunta siya sa Hades. So, saan itong Hades? Pumunta siya sa Imperno or sa Hell. Pero pumunta din siya sa Langit. Ang sabi, after he resurrected on the third day, Jesus confirmed and he touched not because yet he not yet being glorified. Mary told him in John chapter 20 verse 17, Touch me not for I am not ascended to my Father. So, kailan siya nag-glorified? Kailan darating ang banal na Espiritu ay pagkatapos niyang pumunta sa langit. Okay, in addition, before Jesus arose to the Father in heaven, He told the disciples, before siya pumunta sa heaven, He told His disciples, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you endure the power on high. In other words, Jesus will tell the disciples to stay in Jerusalem after receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. We see the disciples following the command in Acts chapter 1 and chapter 2. So what did Jesus say the Holy Spirit, His Holy Spirit would do with the believers? He come to live inside of them. Ano daw sabi ni Jesus na magagawa ng banal na espiritu doon sa mananampalataya hindi ang espiritu ay manahan sa kanya. Unang-una, He will regenerate. And what is regenerate? Regeneration means born again. Ito ay makapagpabuhay ng muli sa pananampalataya. John chapter 3 verse 5. At ito din naman ay nagbibigay ng buhay. Anong buhay? Pamumuhay sa pamagitan ng pananampalataya or in God. John chapter 3, uh, 6 verse 63. Yun lang din naman in John chapter 14 verse 16 na give ng comfort because sa iyong buhay, pananampalataya, maraming tribulation and persecution but because the power of the Holy Spirit, you will understand at magbibigay ito ng comfort sa iyo. John chapter 14 verse 26 Hindi na ganong emphasize, especially sa panahon natin ngayon, na makakita ka pa ng sign and wonders because naisulat na at sa pumagitan ng Biblia, ang banal na Espiritu magpapaalala sa atin, magpipit sa atin kung ano ang mga dapat, dapat na ganapin. 
John chapter 16 verse 8 nagkukunbik sa kasalanan. It's very important po na tayo ay makunwik or or ma ma uh, ma-emphasize natin or matuto tayo sa ating mga kasalanan because it is the time that we will uh, uh, mahumi tayo ng kapatawaran at we will acknowledging every now and then ang ating mga kasalanan para hindi na natin ito gagawin pa. This promise was fulfilled by Jesus at the day of Pentecost. Ang promise na ito ay na-fulfill ni Jesus after the day of Pentecost. Peter confirms in Acts chapter 2 verse 3, Therefore being the right hand, therefore being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, He has shed for us, this ye now see and hear. Okay. But sabi nga niya doon, they are already or only filled with the Holy Spirit. Yung nangyari po yung Acts chapter 2 verse 33, ang mga apostles ni Jesus Christ, the 11 apostles, they have already received the Holy Spirit and that's why they can have the salvation, other the, the baptism, the Holy Spirit, to another uh, Israel na nandudoon sa panahon na yon para mabaptay sila, sabi nga ni, ni Jesus Christ, dun sa John chapter 2 verse 22, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive the Holy Ghost. That's why at that, that time, they have already only filled. So, dinagdagan na lang or finilled na lang ang kanilang, ang Holy Spirit sa pamagitan ng fulfillment ng kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu na ibinigay na Diyos. So, maraming salamat po sa ating pag-aaral sa araw na ito at uh, Let's us continue in part 2 sa atin pong pag-aaral ng Book of Acts. Maraming salamat, good day, and God bless.